What's up, YouTube? Just your girl off the land. We are here with another reaction video. As you guys see by the title, we is about to react to this channel called Fantastic Hip Hop. I'm finna go ahead and get into this video. It is called Why 21 Savage This Kendrick Lamar and I already apologize. When did 21 this Kendry and then I already apologize. I guess he finna tell us right here. So before I get started, go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe. Leave down below what you guys think. And hey, let's see what happened with 21 and Kendry. Let's see what he got to say. We is on the road to 13K. So hit, let's hit that 13K subs. You feel me? Let's run it up. Continue to run it up. Thank you guys for the 12K. But we is on the road to 13K. So let's get straight into it. Let's get it. Let's go. <laughs> Uh, let's see what this guy to say. Now, after all signs were pointed to the fact that Drake was going to be taking a break from rap as he announced that his next album is going to be a collab project with R&B singer Party Next Door. This apparently has not stopped Drake from taking another lyrical mm. swing on the microphone and from trying to create another moment that will start to bring him some positive attention after the Kendrick Lamar beef and with his most recent move. He has opened up this cryptic website yeah, called 100 Gigs for Your Head Top. And with this, Drake has finally done the first thing in months that is not making him look like the biggest joke in music. Because what he did with this is give people a pretty interesting look into his vault, which features oh, studio sessions, okay, performances, lost album covers that are a lot better than some of the ones we actually got, mm -hmm. and a lot of other behind the scenes content. But most That's importantly, and what everyone is going to be talking That's about from the latest move from Drake, are the three new tracks he has released on this website. And now, while well, one of these songs called Blue, Red, and Green is a Blue, Red, Green housekeeping. Green is another cut from Drake that is in line with the Honestly Nevermind sound that he seems obsessed in bringing back despite nobody gripping onto it whatsoever. And the other track, Housekeeping Knows, well, while Lotto. featuring a rapper in Lotto, yeah. feels like another hip-hop dance crossover that is trying to do something like he did on For All The Dogs' track, Rich Baby Daddy, but just a little lame. Aside from these, Drake also gave us his first real rapping performance since his beef with Kendrick Lamar, that is not him going over the BBL Drizzy beat with his new track, It's Up. And with this cut, as this is the first time Drake is giving us solo music since the hard part six, and we are not hearing him with the whiny melodic singing, and we actually get to hear him rapping. This is I obviously- I think I heard a little of that, um, housekeeping with Drake and Lotto. I ain't gonna lie, I like it. I like it, I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> I like it, he still ran to Atlanta. He's still in Atlanta using them Atlanta artists, using Lotto now. But I like the song, I ain't gonna cap to you. I still look at Drake sideways, though. A very important moment, and now with the stakes this high, for a few hours, this track actually did something good for Drake, as it showed off a version of him that sounded more energized and charged up than ever. And in addition to Drake sounding like he actually can stand on his own two feet after this beat for the first time, with features from both Young Thug and 21 Savage Young on this Thug, 21. Drake was able to boost Still back up Atlanta. some of the credibility he lost during the beef, as with two rappers who Kendrick accused him of biting off from still standing by his side. With both Savage and Young Thug, it was bringing Drake respect that he otherwise simply could not get on his own. And beyond just this, in his verse, 21 Savage alludes to some very recent ideas, such as that the industry has turned on Drake, but that he still has his back. And specifically, he made a series of bars that were subliminally dissing Kendrick Lamar, which as he said, Them people be lying, same people be dying, and they never post. No rap cap come out my mouth, made a couple songs think he hot now, hit his up, he think he pock now. And now with 21 coming out and seemingly calling out Kendrick Lamar, while these disses are not anything ground shaking, this was a powerful moment for Team Drake because it was showing that despite what Kendrick said on Not Like Us and despite how many people have turned on Drake, Rappers as respected as 21 Savage are still standing by him and calling out Kendrick Lamar for doing something that they didn't like. And now as this narrative began to go around the internet and people were talking about these lyrics from 21, when DJ Academics went on live stream to talk about these new Drake tracks, he went uh -huh. on to say that he spoke to 21 Savage's manager and he tried to clear the air and say that these lyrics were not about Kendrick Lamar. Mm. 21 manager confirms he did not diss Kendrick Lamar in the new Drake song is up. <laughs> Yeah, you better not this. Oh, uh, you better not this, Kendra. You don't want that smoke, 21. 21 do not want that smoke. And while Ak was trying to push people into believing this, when you put everything together, you can see that this is a sheer and utter lie on the end of 21 Savage's team, and it is exposing a larger problem in the rap world currently. 
which is that everybody is not even just scared, but terrified of Kendrick Lamar. And now with the public hyper fixated on this situation well, and said, knowing where all want the this. in the rap game is lying, <laughs> yeah. what's happening is that now rappers are sending out their usual sneak disses at other rappers because as we all know, Hip hop is a competitive space and with mm -hmm. these rappers competing for the same fans, attention, and of course dollars, people are not gonna always like each other. But at this moment, where we all know where everyone lies and who is an enemy of who because of a feud involving so much of the genre has boiled up, rappers can no longer get these sneak disses off that cater to their own ego and silently target their rivals out without fans figuring who they are about. And this has caused multiple rappers to spiral out of control. And from Big Sean a few weeks ago, who pretty much ended up getting his album leaked because he tried to dodge taking mm. accountability on his obvious disses about Kendrick Lamar to 21 now. We are seeing mm. more than ever that Kendrick Lamar really is the boogeyman in hip hop because at this moment leaked? where most listeners can figure out what is going on. As soon as somebody gets these allegations of dissing Kendrick Lamar, we are seeing rappers fold faster than ever. And just to- Folding. <laughs> Folding, you do not want that. Prove the point that 21 was sneak dissing Kendrick. Let's just look further into this situation to fully grasp everything and see how ridiculous it is to refute these claims. Now, first off, I think we have to note that with this website that Drake has put out, in of itself, we can clearly see that this song was uploaded after the Kendrick Lamar beef went down. So just off this fact, we know that this is being put out on Drake's end to represent his brand and the people around him after everyone has already heard tracks like Family Matters and Not Like Us. And this is abundantly clear from the fact that some of the dates on his website go all the way back to 2018, and this one is very recent. Who got Spectrum time to Mobile's go new and, deal is so good, it's a work it. of art. Love the minimalism. Yeah. So just from this alone, we yeah, know that the, the song website. was intended to be a new chapter in Drake's musical story, and now beyond this, when we look at 21's bars, they are clearly defending Drake and calling out Kendrick for supposedly lying about what he said in his diss tracks. And then mm. 21 tries to frame these diss tracks as his first massive songs in years, which is another sentiment that Team Drake has thrown out, and now topping everything off. As 21 literally goes on to compare who he is talking about to thinking they are Tupac, after Kendrick right. didn't just defend <laughs> Tupac and use him as motivation to defeat Drake, but then paid homage to him you directly through his outfit man. at the Pop Out concert and has pretty much now been appointed as the king of the West Coast greater than any other rapper since Tupac he talking about Kendrick, but Parallels from what 21 is saying are abundantly obvious, and it is don't really getting to, tiring um, that these rappers and their is. teams are trying to downplay their lyrics because by doing this, it is telling us that 21 Savage will just say anything to pad out a runtime of a verse, which then takes away from one of his biggest selling points as an artist, which is his realness, which is ridiculous, and again, goes against everything hip hop as an art form stands for on a fundamental level. And now really, the only possibility that 21 did not diss Kendrick is if this song was recorded before the beef. Which while that would be a coincidence if 21 said this, I, I doubt this is the case, because 21's manager said a few things to DJ Academics about this song and did not once state that it was recorded before all of this, which would have been the easiest way to avoid any controversy and shut these mm -hmm. rumors down. You know Even regardless of all of this, what's not a coincidence is that Drake released this very song and verse out of all of the unreleased material he has. Because Drake definitely knew that beyond the message it sends from having 21 on the track, especially to other artists that he is still beefing with like Future and Metro Boomin, having and him allude Lotto. so clearly to what sounds like everything that went down with him and Kendrick. He dropped he dropped these songs because it got Future, I mean not Future, but it got uh, 21, Young Thug, and Lotto. I think he said he run to a Atlanta for a check balance. <laughs> All the Atlanta artists. He he yeah he dropped them them three songs on purpose. Said, so, hey, Atlanta still rock with me. What's up? <laughs> it will make Drake look stronger by having another rapper lie out on the line for him. So either way, when we look at this situation, this was either 21 Savage straight up dissing Kendrick or Drake using this as a chess move against Kendrick Lamar and the entire rap world for that matter. And regardless of the actual intention, which we may never know. Either way, we have seen another rapper, whether by accident or intentionally from 21 himself, diss Kendrick Lamar, and as we have already seen these claims pretty much be redacted on 21's end. Most pivotally to everything, this has already backfired on Drake, because where he finally made a decent track that kinda did something, now he just looks even more pathetic, and so does 21 Savage, because if we are in a rap world where rappers say things that clearly make sense about a situation that we can all understand, mm -hmm. because as Kendrick says, the audience is not dumb. We can figure out what these lyrics mean most of the time. And then the rappers are telling us otherwise in what seems like full-on fear for Kendrick. 
at this point, Kendrick's victory is only getting stronger because it is showing these other rappers literally folding in on their own words, which while being pathetic for them, only makes his presence as the boogeyman even more real. So with all that said, let me know. What do you think of this situation? And are you sick of rappers throwing rocks and hiding their hands as Kendrick Lamar has said? Yep. I can't wait to hear what you have to say. And if you want to see how Drake to is going to be quitting Stand rap for a while Bannon. beyond small moments <laughs> like this track we have looked at, check out the suggested video. Let's see what these comments talk about. Let's see what they think. I don't know you. I don't know about you, but I'm not sure I want to be clicking on any... 100 GB from Drake end up with an FBI at my door. <laughs> I know go to that website, be clicking on his links and stuff. Uh, Kendrick didn't say the rappers from Atlanta didn't want to work with Drake. He didn't like Drake. He said Drake used Atlanta rappers to stay relevant in different areas of hip-hop. Example, the streets and the club. Like I said, he's using Lotto now. He's using... Young Thug, still rocking with him. Bro, apologize quicker than J. Cole. I swear to God, 21 Ashley there to beef with Kendrick. He's going to be smoked. K-Dot will send 21 back to UK in a bag if they actually beef. Yeah, 21 don't want that smoke. Just love Kendrick's silence. Dude raising his son while Drake out here. It's sick of, I'm sick of everyone throwing rocks and hiding their hands. Rappers, politicians, actors, content creators, the list goes on and on. 21 that knows that K-Dot will chew him up and spit him out. Savage do not want that smoke. K-Dot will destroy 21. Most definitely. Everybody saying the same thing. Everybody agree. But what you guys think in the comments down below, y'all think uh, Kendrick would definitely tell Tell uh, 21 up. Yeah, Kendra would definitely tell 21 up. But, yo, like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you guys think. And I will catch you guys in the next video. Until then, peace. Y'all subscribe to the channel. Subscribe to the mother freaking channel. Catch you guys later.